Oi, don't say it. I know some of you nitty gritty little poopers are heading into the comments to type out your little boo boo Irish. This is no hard decision. Why you milk this? I will do every decision in this game. And I have a few more interesting ones to do. Like the vampire slash werewolf and the skull of corruption one. So we need to get this damn tree out of the way. You can thank Champion no Morrowind. His dirty plebeian hands chose this. Another plebe's voted for it. So if you want to harass somebody, harass my ye. I'm so done with him. Him and his filthy traitor whiskers. Guys, I seen him. I seen him in another YouTuber's comment section. I know. It's okay. I know you are here for me and I just need to move on with my life and accept that talking to a fictional man cat isn't good for my mental health. So let's do it. Let's choose whether to beat the shit out of a tree to grow another tree or pray to the tree to grow another tree. Yep, decisions in Skyrim. Am I right, kids? Advanced logic at its finest. I hate you so much. So there are two ways to do this quest, and believe it or not, a lot of people might complain at me for doing this, but get ready to see the comments from people who had no idea that there was two options, and I mean that. There is an NPC this quest has that a vast majority of people, I ask, had no idea who they were. Up until recently, I didn't either. So I will go over both sides of the quest, you will see gameplay in the background, floating background, heads, the usual. Are you guys here for the video? or this filthy degenerate Irish accent because I know you certainly aren't here for my E. He wouldn't be the reason any of you are here, right? You filthy plebs. Had me worried there for a second. So let's get this ridiculously interesting quest out of the way to sate your love for hard decisions in this game. I made a hard decision on Nazim, so don't you dare complain to me about this. Damn elves. Anyway, time to get into this and what a better way to start than to go with the option most people go with. The one where you needlessly beat the hell out of a tree for no other reason other it didn't fill your pockets with gold. So let's start off with the normie option that most of you probably choose. And to do so, you gotta do what you usually do. You have to go to Danica Pure Spring in the Temple of Kinnerit inside Whiterun. It's not too hard to find. If that's not how you get the quest, you can also get a rumor from a local tavern in Whiterun. The Bannered Mayor usually has it said as a rumor quite quickly. There is a lot of ways to get notified of this quest in advance anyway, since you will probably spend a lot of time in Whiterun. Anyway, once you get to her, she will tell you all about the guild Green, the tree that sits in the center of Whiterun. It's dying, and to revive it, Danica believes that sap from the parent tree will save it from its untimely demise. So of course, due to you being dragonborn and slaving for every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the game, you agree to this. If you want, of course, and that will set you on the quest to get a special dagger to achieve Danica's goals. The dagger is called Nettlebane, an ancient dagger old enough to cut through the parent tree, and is the only weapon which can do so, since the tree itself is older than many metal itself. Yeah, that old. Danica will send you to Orphan Rock to find a dagger which is being used by some witches and Hargraven to sacrifice Spriggans, because that's what they do in their sadistic time. God, I hate witches. Wasn't Halloween last month? Once you dispose of the enemies, you will find the dagger on the Hargraven's body, and then you can return it to all the way back in Whiterun, where Danica will be happily waiting for you, to complain to you and tell you to go and do it yourself. From here, you have to go to the Elder Gleam Sanctuary, where you will find a bunch of pilgrims who have come to visit the tree and show their support because what a better way to pass time in Skyrim than to give your life to a tree. You will need to get to the top of the chamber. To do so, you need to stab the big tree roots with the dagger you got. There is no other way up. You're only tickling it anyway, so it's not a big deal. Spriggans will spawn all around and start attacking you and everyone in the sanctuary. Innocents will die, all because you decided to stab the damn tree. And while you might not get any huge repercussions to this, it's still bad. If you are playing a hero of some sort, sorts, or a morally correct character, then this is not the route you want to take. But from here you can either defend the pilgrims or run for your life. The Spriggans won't follow you out. Once done, you head back to Whiterun and give Danica the sap, which will complete the quest for you and the guards will comment on it and that's just what you wanted, right? The local guard to let you know how great you are. Nah, but outside of this, you now get Nettlebane to improve with smithing, but you aren't able to enchant it. Or you could just get rid of it. Whatever you want to, it's entirely up to you. I don't really care. The real reward for this quest is that Danica will help you improve a perfectly valid school of magic skill. Master Restoration, here I come because that is totally worth doing this quest for. However, this is another choice. One of two. There is another one. One that brings about another little reward you might want in the process. So we shall talk about that one 
Island 2. Without all the details of the quest, however, just the parts that change. So get Nettlebane and head back to Whiterun and after speaking to Danica about what to do next, you will get approached by another NPC sometime. That or you can just find him inside the temple itself alongside Danica. A lot of the time he won't be there or you won't see him. This is why a lot of people don't know about this option because it's so vague. You might have to look for him a bit anyway in the temple or something, but he should be there. Otherwise, I have no idea where to find him. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he isn't. He's a big weirdo, just like you. He will ask you to tag along to the sanctuary with you, which you have the choice to either say yes or no, but for now say yes. This will open up the other option you can do within the quest. Now you need to get Morris to the sanctuary with you alive. He can die, and when I say this, I mean it. He has a tendency to run off and attack everything in sight with no reasoning. He has no armor and uses fists, so he's typical noob. You have to stay close or jot the difficulty down until you get him there. He's just a pain to keep alive. You can't give him the usual follower commands. He is more of just a tag along for this quest. A bit of a weirdo to be honest. Anyways, once you manage to get him there, attack the roots like normal, but then realize Morris will stop you and offer a better solution that might work. He will pray to the tree to get you the sap instead of you attacking it. Guess what? It works and nobody dies and you get the sap and Morris is happy and he can go away now and you never have to look at him again. Isn't it just the happiest ending you could ever have asked for, you plebs? So out of these two, which should you choose? Stab the tree and cause the deaths of many innocents or bring this obnoxious just prat and get the sap and nobody dies. Well, of course you choose Morris. There is a bit more effort, but you still reap all the rewards from Danica and her restoration leveling. What's the point in needlessly killing people? What are you? A big asshole? Chill your boots, son. You want to be a good boy or girl in this scenario. What's the point in killing a bunch of people? If you actually find pleasure in that, you're either sadistic or bored as hell. Wow, did you just make me watch a video for 10 minutes and tell me not to kill and what I should be a good guy? What a waste of time. Dislike. Shut your mouths. The video was made because I like making videos and shh, you now have a better understanding of what to do and that's the main thing my children also i made you watch long enough to decide whether you should like the video or dislike it and obviously you should do whichever but like it <laughs> if you enjoyed and learned something new maybe consider leaving a like and if you knew it all and you hate my guts leave a dislike i will completely understand it's okay it's not like i have friends anyway but hopefully you came out of this video with some form of enjoyment we're all friends here boys anyways that's pretty much it for this video i do hope you guys all enjoyed it remember to express your feelings in the comments below. I love reading your guys' comments and seeing what you guys have to say. Now I must leave and find new topics to make videos on and also play some more Spyro because I'm kind of addicted. I can't help it. Don't judge me. It's not my fault Fallout 76 doesn't fill any sort of entertaining hole for me. You gotta let me love what I love. You hear me, degenerates? Don't judge me. But anyways, enjoy the remainder of your days, guys and gals. I hope it's an eventful one and you have the best of things happen to you. You hear me, hi? Anyways, have an amazing day, week, month, or year and I'll see you guys next time.